I'm so confused right now. Like, it's like as I'm blending this out, it's getting darker and kind of turning orange. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out a foundation. So I'm sure many of you guys have already heard all of the drama surrounding the new Tarte Shape Tape foundations and the fact that they came out with 15 shades, each of two different formulations of this new foundation, and it wasn't a very inclusive line, meaning that they only came out with about three dark shades and about 13 white shades. So of course, everyone has been very disappointed in that, and I am as well. So I was holding off, even though I was waiting so long for this foundation to come out. Some of the Tarte foundations have been my favorite foundations for a while now, so I was very excited to try a new one. Um, but however, that whole thing just kind of put me off of buying it. Just so happened to be at the store the other day looking for a certain foundation, and they didn't have the one that I wanted, so I saw it there, and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a try just to see what it's like. So I picked up one of the Tarte Shape Tape matte versions of the foundation and I think it's a pretty good match for me when I when I color match myself in the store. Um, it seemed to be the best choice and this is the shade Medium Honey and it, I was kind of in between choosing Medium Honey and Medium Sand but I went with Medium Honey. I felt like the undertone of it more matched my tanner than anything else so as you can see if I hold it up here it looks like a really good match. Like it looks very very similar even if I hold up the applicator as well. I feel like it almost kind of disappears against my skin here. So so that, like I said they did come out with a matte version and a more dewy version. I will end up picking up the dewy version to try out as well at some point but I wanted to try out the matte today because I felt like hearing that it is a little bit more full coverage um, might be a little bit more up my alley in terms of what I like in a foundation. And speaking of the applicator the applicator just looks like a very large shape tape concealer applicator so I love that it's definitely an improvement over the dropper type of situation the Tarte Rainforest the C foundation had I have a lot of those but it tends to just get all over the place and kind of conglomerate around the top and just look really messy and I feel like I waste a lot of foundation that way. So I'm glad that they included a new type of applicator in this foundation. I always prime my face before foundation no matter what. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So I'm just going to apply it to one half of my face first. So it looks like it's a good match so far if you look from my neck to face here. I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender to start blending this out. Um, what? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Like, it's like as I'm blending this out, it's getting darker and kind of turning orange. What? That's so strange. It's not really picking up much on my monitor here, but when I'm looking at myself in person, my face like you can kind of tell even see how much darker my face just got than my neck so I guess it's safe to say that this oxidizes like I look like a carrot right now mm. <laughs> this is so disappointing can you guys see this right now it's so orange it looks like it turned about two shades darker and then all of a sudden took on a really weird orange undertone as well like it looks nothing like it did here do you guys see the difference in shade? <laughs> well, now that my foundation has turned even darker than my tanner, I I can't even look at myself, like I have a mirror back here and I just look like an Oompa Loompa right now. I look so crazy. This is going back today. So I do have to say that the coverage is quite impressive on this foundation. Um, I do like the finish. I do feel like it's a little too dry for me at this point in time, but it does have a very flawless finish to it. It's definitely minimized my pores and made everything look nice and smooth, especially here in the middle of my cheeks. However, it is a little bit too dry on my forehead and is now accentuating the lines I have in my forehead and kind of sinking into them. I feel like you can see my lines. But of course, the color doesn't match. Like, my face and neck are now darker 
than my shoulders. <laughs> so I look ridiculous. That's really frustrating that it's not a consistent color with what it looks like. Because in the store, it looked like it matched perfectly. And even just here, showing you guys before I put it on, it looked like it was gonna match perfectly and it just completely changed color. It is slightly dry feeling on my skin right now. Like it definitely sets down without having to put any powder over it, which would be great for someone with oily skin or more normal skin, but my skin this time of year right now is a little bit on the dry side, so I can see it kind of um, collecting around my nose where I have a little bit of dryness. So if you have flaky skin at all, it's definitely going to accentuate that. So now this is how everything looks now that all of my makeup is finished. I really, really do, like I said, love the finish of this foundation. I think it's beautiful. I think it will work really, really well for those of you who have oily skin. I do not recommend it for dry skin or flaky skin at all. The one thing that is so disappointing is that my face and neck are orange right now and I can't do anything about it. I wanted to test this foundation out for you guys so I'm going to the gym like this. It is what it is. But I wanted to test it out and see how well it stands through sweat, stuff like that, extreme conditions. Um, because I'm about to get pretty sweaty. I will check back in with you guys later and let you guys know how it held up at the gym. I've had this on for about half an hour now and it is five o'clock, so it's not going to be the longest wear test ever, but it, we'll have some kind of idea by around 10 o'clock tonight. Oh my God, I'm so orange right now. You guys don't understand. I'm so embarrassed. I don't think anyone is naturally this color. Like, who who naturally is this orange? I don't understand why they formulated a color that dries and finishes like this. I did also want to mention that this foundation is just under $40. I think it's like $39.50 or something, so a little bit on the pricey side. So I will check back in with you guys later. Okay guys, so we are back. It is now 9.45, almost 10 o'clock. So I've had this on for just over five hours now. It stayed relatively matte. It started to break down a little bit in the center of my face. I can see just a small amount of oil. Parts of the foundation have gone like a little patchy. Like it just doesn't look as even as it did originally when I had applied it. And I don't necessarily touch my face, especially up here. It's starting to get lighter right around my brows. I don't know if you guys can see that, where it's like kind of pulled away from the edge of my brow. And then around my mouth as well is starting to come off. And like on the sides of my face, it just doesn't look as even as it did originally. I mean, this foundation is okay. It definitely still looks dry on my skin. It's sinking into these little lines right here. They look extra emphasized and dry. And in my forehead, it definitely just settled completely into all of my little fine lines. And not to mention the colors, just like, I feel like it's just getting darker and darker as the day goes on. It feels even darker than it was earlier. Like, look at my chest here compared to my face. Overall, I like the finish of the foundation. I thought it looked really nice and flawless, but then throughout the day it kind of breaks down a little bit and doesn't hold up as well as some of my other foundations. So do you need it? I don't think so. Um, I think it would be decent for someone with oily skin and skin that's slightly oilier than mine. Um, definitely not for anyone with dry skin. And yeah, this foundation was kind of just like meh for me. I really loved the um, Rainforest of the Sea foundation, so I was very excited about this one. That's about all I have to say about this foundation. This one was not a winner for me. I will be taking it back. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more of my videos, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye!